Open any mandala in Silhouette Studio. There's a free one linked below in the description box. Open the trace panel and then select your trace area around the mandala. When all is yellow, click Trace. Drag the trace and original mandala, that's layer one, off the mat to the side. Make a copy of the trace and drag it onto the mat. Right click on the trace and release compound path. Click away from the trace so that nothing is selected and then select only the outside edge and pull off to the side to save for later. Select trace on mat, right click, make compound path. Now we're going to do four internal offsets. Select the double star on the right hand side to activate the offset panel. Once it's up, you're going to do four different internal offsets. Select your trace area. The first internal offset is going to be at point 0.035, then click apply and then drag the offset above the mat. Right click on that offset and make compound path. Now we're going to repeat that same step using the following offsets. The next one will be done at point zero six two five. Apply, drag off on top of the mat and then repeat again at 0.125 and 0.175. You should now have five layers. Remember that your first layer is your original mandala trace. So that makes a total of five separate layers. Drag your trace to the left to clear the mat. Now move the outer edge onto the mat. Copy the edge and make five copies. and then move the original edge back to the side. Now select all five edges and color them any color you'd like. While they're still highlighted, select Send to Back for all of the edges. Move a copy of each colored edge blank under the second, third, fourth, and fifth layer, leaving one blank for the very back. Select each layer and the offset, and then click the center button at the top. Do this for layers two, three, four, and five. Click on the Modify panel, which is just above the star on the right-hand side to activate. Select each layer and subtract. Now you're going to color each layer a different color so that when we're done you'll be able to see the different layers when you stack everything on top of one another. This includes the top layer number one. I left the blank at the back the same color I originally chose and then lightened up each one as I went. 
Make sure to remember to include number one this time. Now to get rid of that annoying red edge, highlight one through five plus the blank back. Click on the top left of the line color and choose none. Now the fun part. Starting with the back layer, drag it onto the mat, then click the next layer, number five, and choose bring to front and put it on top of the back layer. Now choose number four, bring to front, drag it on top of the other layers, and continue to do this until all are on top from back up to number one. Now select all of the layers and center to see your finished 3D six layer mandala. To print, drag the layers apart. Starting at the back, send it to the machine. Cut, remove the waste, and then turn the mat upside down. Mark the center top of each layer. Peel the cutting mat away from the design, and then you're done with that layer. Now you repeat for all of the rest of the layers. Cut, peel the mat away after marking the center top, weed, and then your layer is done. When you put your 3D mandala together with glue or foam spacers, remember to use those center markings that you put on each cut layer so that all the lines line up correctly as it was designed in the first place. Enjoy!